right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's par par Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach the out. Sure, we'll be reaching out to the folks there in Algon City. Or just the Algon area because we don't know where those top golf courses are, but we do know you might if you've been in that area. But we're going to bring you the top five courses that we were able to play and hopefully in the future we're going to be able to go out and play so let's take a look now at our number fifth golf course on this list lost country golf club this has only got one review at a four but there's a course here and enjoy a nine hole layout within the countryside here the course itself it's got an interesting amount of history and i can't find anything on it so far though if you find anything, let us know. There is a course there. You can't make that up. And it believes to be public. Now, let's take a look here at our number fourth golf course in this area. Far as golf course, a 4.6 with uh, at 106 golf reviews. This Willie Park design's got a lot of history. Designed by the Open Champions, William Park. It stretches 6,300 yards for a par 70 and was built in 1989 course itself has an original nine holes but then soon later the 12 holes was completed or 18 holes was completed in 1912 that's now going to move us into the top three courses in this area into algin golf course with a 4.5 out of 5 and 125 golf reviews to choose from this championship golf course testing the heartlands of this area and built in the top 100 golf courses in major golf outlets are 6,500 yards of great golf in a slope of 125 and a rating of 71.6. The course was built in 1906 and is open year-round with some scenic views of the countryside. Enjoy yourself a nice glass and enjoy yourself a nice round of golf. But more importantly, let's take a look now that we've broken into the top three there's still two more courses here to take a look at some of the best golf in the area might be next up here at number two is Hopeman's golf course a 4.6 out of about 163 golf reviews to choose from this has been rated a top golf course year in and year out by major golf outlets like golf digest golf magazine the course itself well it's got a signature 12th hole that everyone seems to be talking about, but it stretches only 5,625 yards. A true link style course, this par 68 has a rating of 67.1 and was built in 1909 by Tom McKenzie. Believe it or not, there's still what well, had some updates by Tom McKenzie in 2018. Believe it or not, there's still one more course here to take a look at in the area as we bring you the best golf. It's important to note that we do rely on the comment section. Write down which course you think is number one. Is it our number one course here at Moray Golf Club? A 4.5 with 300 golf reviews to choose from. Considered one of the finest destinations and built by old Tom Morris, who designed the Pop Bunkers and St. Andrews. This course is stretching 6,716 yards from those back tees. With all that rich history, you would hope that it's number one. And we decide to sneak it on there at our number one golf course. Now, whether you pick the new course or the old course, either of them, the new course, well, that was built in 1979 by Henry Cotton. That's going to do it for our list for an independent golf around the world. This is the Parfessor. And if you're not watching golf, Please be going out and playing golf. That's going to do it for our episode. If you're focusing on other areas, think about subscribing down below.